we be here again to be talking about how to reduce the global warming issue. And with me again is Dr. Alder. Yes, I got his name right this week. Ah. In any case, while I was torturing him over the break, uh, he brought up this thing called Flex Fuel. So, today's episode will be about Flex Fuel. Dr. Alder, what is Flex Fuel? Flex Fuel is a mixture of ethanol and gasoline. Most American cars already drive with a 10% ethanol gas and an ethanol combination. So you already drive flex fuel. However, you can increase the amount of ethanol. In fact, some cars can drive solely on ethanol, which is called E100, because it's 100% ethanol. Now, E85 is what most people are more likely to drive. You can convert your average car, your average gasoline car, from your current E10 to E85, so that it uses 85%. Most ethanol is created from corn. However, there are many other things that you can create ethanol out of. For example, sugar cane, sugar beet, switchgrass, barley, hemp, potatoes, sunflower, fruit, molasses, grain, wheat, straw, cotton. Those are all things that you can use to create bioethanol out of. And so, when these things were alive before they were harvested, they were converting CO2 to oxygen, thus reducing the amount of actual CO2 released into the atmosphere. So, even though the amount of CO2 emitted from ethanol is, is still there, the amount of CO2 converted to oxygen needs to be factored in. That amount being converted by the plants while they were alive before harvesting. If the landlubbers here that are watching our show wanted to convert their car to flex fuel, how much would that be costing them? You can modify a modern car to use 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. That is called E85. You can do that for as little as $20. How much gold do you have to spend to buy this here flex fuel? E85 currently costs $2.10 per gallon, whereas regular gas, which is E10, currently costs $3.05 a gallon. And that price, of course, is based on oil prices, which continues to rise. And how much gold would it be costing them? Because of the way ethanol burns, you get a slightly worse mileage for the E85 than you would for a regular car. So for example, if you were driving a Chrysler Sebring convertible, then with ordinary gas, you would get 18 city and 26 highway mileage. With E85, you spend $2,101 a year on your fuel versus the 2178 you would spend on 100% gasoline. Clearly, it is the rum that is the upside. But what be the downside of this here flex fuel? Unfortunately, there are some downsides to flex fuel. For example, there are very few places that currently sell flex fuel. In fact, there are less than 2,000 flex fuel stations in the United States today. Now, that will hopefully increase over the next couple of years. But before you invest in a flex fuel car, you might want to check to see where you can buy your flex fuel. But also, another downside is that because you get less mileage, 
you have to fill your tank more often, even though it costs you less, it means you have to visit a gas station more. And since there are less available gas stations, that can put you in quite an annoying predicament. Until next time, may your booty be big.